Hey, welcome back to my channel for another special edition. And just because Halloween is coming, I thought I would drop a special edition and launch this video on a Friday. And you may ask what about the usual Sunday videos? Don't worry, I have another one lined up for Sunday. And that is even closer to Halloween, so it will be a very, very insane project. But let's get back to this one. I'm starting to turn a nice black locust log, which was previously trimmed, so it was ready to turn into a vase. And later in the video, I also have something super exciting to share with you, but more on that a little bit later. This will be the bottom of the vase and here I'm creating the tenon, which will then perfectly fit into the watering chuck. And using the previously drilled hole with our tailstock, it will align the piece perfectly, so this will run absolutely true. So the plan I had in mind, I will cut a groove in the middle and I will fill it with resin and something else. But before we can do that, I'm using my blowtorch to give some special effects and color to make it look like this is a burned piece. And my initial plan was to go really far with burning, but then I thought using fire in my wood workshop, probably not the best idea. Then I will just spray some clear lacquer and hopefully that will be enough to stop the charcoal contaminating the resin. And I'm super excited to introduce Auto Laser Master 3 who is the sponsor of this video. They were kind enough to send me one of the incredible machines to test out, make a project and share with my audience. And I must say the overall design it is super cool very easy to put this together and more importantly very easy to use it but more on that in a few minutes let's put this machine together so we can crack on making awesome stuff and all you need is a magic screwdriver and the assembly spell and it's up and running Jokes aside, there are plenty of content already how to put this machine together, so I will focus on more the practical elements and share some ideas how you can utilize this machine. So this machine comes with a 10 watt laser module capable to cut through different materials such as wood, leather and acrylic and also has a super user friendly application along with the capability to connect to a number of different devices using different softwares. And as I said, a range of different materials where you can utilize this machine. Plus, you have some awesome accessories available from their website, which is in, done in the description. And here we are, some of the practical elements where you can utilize a laser engraver. And this footage actually runs on real time, so this is actually how fast this machine moves. And just look at that. Nice little olive ball, branded. Then I experienced doing some engraving on stainless steel and wow, turned out cool. Then I used a piece of hardwood to engrave my logo and eventually I also cut this out. So potentially this can be also used for branding or for coasters and it turned out really good. Some of the settings and check this out, this is actually really really cool and this is what I'm planning in the future to utilize this machine as well to create a wall art or tables as well. So I use the word map which is available on Etsy um, for a couple of pounds or dollars available to purchase the digital file and after it's just very easy to uh, load this into a program to cut. And then I decided I will fill it with blue resin and check this out. Obviously this was just a little inside what this machine is capable to do and with a bit of an imagination the possibilities of this machine pretty much endless, obviously within certain boundaries. But then let's swing back to our Halloween project and again I'm utilizing some files which I purchased from Etsy and using some of the settings which was preset already in this format I can just frame out where exactly 
the engraving and cutting will take place and once we are ready this is within our uh, material i can just hit the start to do the action it is super satisfying to watch this machine how it works but you have to take some safety measures and wearing the provided safety goggles and also to have a well ventilated room in this case i have my door open so all the fume can go out it didn't fully cut through this six millimeter mdf so probably i should have done one more pass but i'm using my drum sander to kind of remove that very uh, thin layer of uncut wood and as you can see it pops out very nicely and what I'm the most impressed, how all these little details the machine can really cope with, as you can see, even this little tiny windows pops out. Then once we have all the elements cut, ready to make it look like Halloween-y. So I'm using spray paints from orange to black, then green, to purple. Then I simply use some super glue to secure the piece into the groove all around the vase. With regards to the Halloween sign, I had to break this into three different pieces just to ensure it follows the curve of the surface. I'm using a small trash bin as my mold and using a little waste wood at the bottom as this piece didn't go down all the way to the bottom so just to ensure I won't use too much resin and then on to mixing our deep pool resin. And unfortunately I made some misjudgment here. It looked like it's full and is well above the groove but after it came out from the pressure pots, unfortunately it was only halfway full, so I had to mix up some more clear resin and then cast it again. Um, I didn't film that part, but you will see as it pops out of the mold, you will see there is a slight separation between the two layers, but it won't be too visible at the finished product. And since I have the tenon at the top, it was very easy to mount on the light again. I'm using a traditional tool on this piece for start. This is really just to a rough shape as it will cause a lot of chip outs and you will see later in this turning that is a lot of chip outs um, on the resin sides. But then I will switch over to my negative ray cover bit, which will take care of all those little chip outs. Boom, look at that. And after a few passes with negative rake, you can see all those little chip outs are gone. Since this wood is slightly wet, I'm trying to do a little experiment and will apply a spray lacquer. And hopefully this will slow down the drying stage of the woods and hopefully we will avoid any potential cracking. I've done something similar in the past with one of the Christmas projects I done a year ago and it looked like it worked and actually I will give an update uh, closer to Christmas how that project looks like now after 12 months. Then I'm just using different sizes of force a bit to hollow this piece out, or at least start hollowing this piece out. 
when it comes to end grain turning and due to the position of this uh, log um, this is an end grain turning it always a little bit more difficult going into uh, an end grain project so using this force a bit definitely helps you to save some time with hollowing any piece but also more open to any future cracking so hopefully with the little trick of using gloss lacquer it will help and then some finishing passes with a negative rake uh, scraper bits and we are on to, to do some sanding and eventually our wall finished inside only with some uh, Yorkshire grit I could have finished inside again with spray lacquer but again this is an experience so I wanted to see how the wood reacts when only one side is finished um, so time will tell and as I said at the beginning I have something super exciting to share with you and this is the new workshop with plenty of more space to accommodate more machinery and also here I will build an epoxy room which will be insulated and temperature controlled throughout the winter and summer so nothing will stop me to making awesome projects. I already begin transitioning into the new workshop so hopefully over the coming weeks I will be fully done but in some of the future contents you will see the first half of the video was filmed in the old workshop and it will be finished in the new one. And just because I'm moving my workshop, it doesn't mean I have to stop making content. I already have done for the next two weeks, so there is no disruption to the channel. The weekly videos will continue. Thank you for watching and see you back Sunday for another crazy Halloween project.